Hello guys. Today I want to talk about the recent announcement regarding DMZ's future and why I think this is honestly not a good thing and people have got this all wrong. Before I get into the video though, I want to stress that this is just my opinion and if you don't agree with it, let me know constructively in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video, comment below your thoughts and subscribe so you don't miss any future Call of Duty content coming to the channel soon. Okay, so last Monday, the 2nd of October, we saw an official Call of Duty account post the following on Twitter or X or whatever it's called now. It said, DMZ won't be showcased at COD Next this week. We're excited to share that we will continue to support the DMZ beta. Players will have continuing infiltration opportunities for Almazra, Ashika Island, Vondal. And then they go on to say they'll share more news closer to the season one launch of Modern Warfare 3. Now that doesn't fill me with much confidence at all because what they're actually saying is we're not showing any DMZ content off at the biggest Call of Duty event of the year and moving forward you'll still be able to play on all of the current maps. Surely a game mode that was alleged to have been in development during Modern Warfare 2019's development cycle, all the way up until it was released with Modern Warfare 2, you would have thought they've spent enough time developing it further for it to come out of beta and be a fully fledged game mode that's here to stay. Well, apparently not. This leads me into my next point about DMZ not being a beta to start with. They're selling content for DMZ like operator slots, weapon blueprints, that have DMZ specific features, you just don't sell content for something that's still in beta. There's also never been anywhere that you can submit bug reports and provide feedback for the game mode either. If anyone has any experience of using an iOS beta on their iPhone, you know that you get a feedback app where you're actually encouraged to provide feedback and submit reports for any issues that you've faced. That just doesn't seem to be the, th the case for DMZ, which is why I think DMZ being a beta is purely a marketing tactic and nothing else. I also feel it's important to touch on the fact that whilst DMZ was never going to be in Modern Warfare 3 anyway, because DMZ is a game mode inside of Warzone, which is a standalone game in and of itself, I find it strange that as per the post I mentioned earlier, DMZ won't have access to the new Warzone map, which leads me to believe there won't even be any new narrative, story-based content to come our way either. I can't imagine DMZ being kept alive and not having any new content added to it for a while, that just seems really strange. Moving on to Zombies now, we also saw in a blog post last month on the Call of Duty website that Zombies will in fact be a player vs environment extraction mode. It seems like it'll actually have all of the hallmarks of a DMZ game mode minus the player vs player aspect of it, which makes me think... Was DMZ really a beta just for zombies? We've already had an open world type zombies mode that was called Outbreak back in Black Ops Cold War, but it seems this new extraction mode they're talking about is much more closely related to DMZ than anything else we've previously had. It would make sense if Activision wanted to test the waters first with DMZ before they go all in with a mode similar to zombies. So that's why I think DMZ will actually end up being cancelled and deleted soon. Whether before Modern Warfare 3 or a few months after the Modern Warfare 3 release, I think we've seen DMZ hit its peak, and it will likely be shelved for a newer, more familiar mode just like Zombies. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think DMZ is getting cancelled, or does Activision have something up their sleeves to revive DMZ at a later date? Anyway, drop a like on the video if you agree, and subscribe for more Call of Duty videos in the future. Don't forget, you can become a member of the channel and show a bit of financial support that will help me continue making videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, bye bye.